only way to stop caring what people think in a, a true soulful way is you have to be some super clear about what you think about yourself and you have to like what you think about yourself, which means you have to have the actions and the characteristics and, and act in a way that is really true to who you desire to be. And that means holding yourself accountable every day. That makes make putting the ego smaller. That makes making good choices for yourself. That's the work of each day. And the reason that's so important is because otherwise you can be just floating through life, caring about things you shouldn't care about, not caring about things you should care about. Like literally just just literally mixing completely upside down, upside down and, and not caring when you should be caring about what other people are thinking and caring when and unfortunately you see people like this. If you're not taking the time to really know yourself, and like you said, I think it's a very important word, integrity, but really know yourself, then the the other guidelines won't won't make a difference. For many, many years. I think it's just the, the what I needed to learn in this lifetime because it started young for me. But a lot of people wanted me to really care what they thought of me and what they thought I should be doing. And I had a lot of opposition in a lot of areas. And I would even say bullying for sure. And last year, somebody who behaved that way to me wanted to speak. And it wasn't super clear why at first, what the intention was or agenda. But at one point in the conversation, She said to me, we were talking about some of the things that happened over the past 20 years. And she said, well, you know, my issue with you is that you were different. Everybody else, we all understood our place. We understood our role. We understood what what we should say. And then you come along and you have an opinion about everything. You have an opinion. And I looked at her and I said, do you hear what you're saying? I said, can you imagine if everybody at that time had walked around and really valued what they thought and they weren't afraid to ask questions or say what they thought. And by the way, I was respectful even when I had an opinion, but how like what you were asking me to deny myself to make everybody else feel okay about me. So I could make you feel more comfortable about my presence. I should be quiet. I said, you know what, if everybody had had the courage to do that for themselves, can you imagine how different everybody would have felt and how different the experience at that time would be and how happier each person would have been. And that was the end of the conversation. And honestly, it's all of these things. I spent years practicing proactively not caring about what people thought because I was pushed. I was, it was in such a vice that I had no other choice. It's either choose them or choose me. And I just couldn't make that choice other than choosing myself. But it was one of the most defining moments of my life, not just that conversation, but getting to that place. 